Hello, my name is Elaine Chu, and I will be describing the making of the third piece in the Arrhythmia Suite. This new movement is based on ventricular ectopics. So first, I've asked Professor Pierre Lambiazzi to give you a quick tutorial on ventricular ectopics. My name's Pierre Lambiazzi, and I'm going to take you through some ECG recordings. The ECG is a recording of the electrical activity of the heart. And with every heartbeat, the top chamber contracts first, the atrium, and then the bottom chamber, the ventricle. The atrium creates an electrical wave on the ECG called the P wave, illustrated here. And this is then followed by a narrow tall beat called the QRS complex. The QRS complexes in a normal individual or with a normal heartbeat are narrow. However, if they are occurring in an isolated manner from different parts of the heart, they are broad and these are called ectopics as shown here. On this tracing, there is also a run of three beats in a row from the bottom chamber of the heart, which is called a ventricular triplet. And also there are two beats in quick succession, also from a separate site known as a couplet. On the last part of the tracing, there's a run of three beats and then one isolated broad beat from another region of the heart. These are all ventricular in their site of origin. Now that you know about ventricular ectopics, I will show you how these ectopics, couplets, triplets, quadruplets, once you get to four, that is a short run of ventricular tachycardia, how these ectopics are turned into music with the help of Beethoven. The third piece in the Arrhythmia Suite is based on ventricular early beats and draws from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the one that goes like this. Most of the material comes from the third movement, whose main theme sounds like this. The music gives a sense of the abnormal pulse. First there's an early beat, also known as an extra systole, a pause, then a forceful normal beat. As you may have noticed, the music follows the rhythm of the ECG. The ECG can be transcribed using rhythm notation and the rhythm turned into playable piano music. The music is a collage of fragments from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. This bit from Beethoven then becomes this. And this bit from Beethoven becomes this. And this. becomes this. And the famous motif from the first movement shows the short ventricular tachycardia runs. The last bit is from this part in the Beethoven. Now that you know how the music is put together, stay tuned for the release of the third piece of the Arrhythmia Suite on World Heart Day.